Okay, I'm setting up to laser level this pasture right here. The first thing that I do is I set the scraper down to about, about where I want it. I'm thinking somewhere in there. And you can see I've got the link. That means that the receiver's hooked up. I'm in auto mode, but nothing else is lit up. That's because I don't have my laser set up. That's my GPS. But here's my battery for the laser. There's my laser. This is a dual slope setup. So I'll show you how all this works. This is the tripod for the laser that I use. This I modified myself. Instead of using a hand crank to walk my scraper up and down, I do it with a wireless remote. I also did add these. These are endpoint <clears throat> limit switches. And once the scraper reaches the end of its limit, I have them hooked into the control valve. It doesn't deadhead the hydraulics because if you get an overrun where it wants to raise up too high or too low, it'll sit there and deadhead the hydraulics. So this is just some of my hodgepodge together to limit the stroke. So once it gets to that limit, it shuts off the hydraulic flow for that direction and it'll only go the other direction. Okay, so I'm gonna start sitting up and we'll get some video pictures of that. Yeah, I set my tripod up. I always set one leg straight north and I put my y-axis on my laser on that this is going to be perfectly level so i'm not too concerned about the x y axis but i still do it it's just a good habit to be in now i'll put my laser on there and the battery and uh show that this here is a dual slope laser that's why i have an x y axis and i'll show you the screen i can set my slopes and do dual slopes I'm set up kind of in the middle of the pasture. Like I said, it's going to be perfectly level, so it really doesn't matter. But I just like to, you know, keep habits what they are. See, it's trying to figure out its slopes. It's self-leveling right now. I think I have it set to zeroed out, no slope. Yeah, there it goes. So it should be spinning. Yep, there it is. So now what I'll do is I'll lift it up until I capture the receiver and then I'll do my first initial set with that and then anything after that I'll set with the uh, fine tune it inside the tractor with that wireless remote and controller. Okay so now I'm showing I've got my laser going I don't know if you can see it spinning. My controller's showing that it's zeroed out. I don't have the slope on. The slope light's not on. I can add the slope, but I don't want to right now. I'm not on this pasture. I'm leveled out. The laser's happy right there. Also on the receiver, it shows you that you can run it with just the receiver without the box if you really wanted to. But I mean, that would be pointless, really. So, now I'm gonna start leveling this pasture. Here's my controller for the, to walk it up and down, I'll show you. Oh, I gotta turn it on over here. So, see that just walked the, laser, the scraper down about an inch. This will bring it back up. Okay, right there's where I want to run it for now. And uh, yeah, it's time to get going. Start leveling this. The lights that are blinking are nothing. Uh, that is just shows my hours. I reset that and it shows done. Now it's saying select, now it's saying, you can't really see it because it's blinking on the phone, but it's showing zeros all the way across. That's the hours and minutes that I've been working on the laser since I reset it. So if you want to keep track of your time like that, you can. Uh, this is the select. I believe it's the 7,000 dual slope 
laser setup. Yeah. And I love this. I've got the 5,000 and the 7,000 and I'm planning to buy another 7,000 and uh, running this. And the uh, scraper is from Select also. Okay, this is my first initial pass. As you can see that the pasture is way off by the level of the scraper. You can watch your, this will tell me in inches how far it's off. Uh, I can go up to eight inches each direction, up or down. See, it's digging right now. The scraper's loaded up, and it's still saying that it needs to go down, but it was really low at the other end. Uh, I'm just initially making my passes to find out what the pasture is like. Now I'm level. Now it's going to start lowering the wheels because this part is high. Or low. The other part's high. So now i got to carry... I do know that i got to bring some of that dirt to this side. So I'll spend some time taking care of that. Now that I've gotten here, I'll cut another couple passes and just see how far off this is. You can see where it started digging over there. Just hit the tires off the ground. And here we go. This spot is pretty high also. I may have to reset my initial start point, depending on uh, where I get with, you know, this dirt where I end up. The tractor's struggling. I could raise the scraper up manually. Okay. I could put it in manual mode if I wanted to, but what's the point of that? Okay, I've got this pasture leveled, laser leveled, and it was off by about 24 inches in some spots. So you can see right there how high I had to bring it up along this edge. But it's perfectly level and now it's time to plant.